What are the things that you feel that's been keeping you from living your dream? That's been keeping you from doing some things that you would like to do? Just think about those things. And how do we begin to handle that? Abraham Maslow said that the life is about growth. And he said, you could either go back to your comfort zone, there you won't find any growth, or you must willing, be willing to go forward and face your fears again and again and again. Because you're never going to have a, a fear-free existence. I mean, some fear is acceptable and legitimate. There are some things that you, you really should be afraid of. Now, you shouldn't allow it to immobilize you. You acknowledge it, you take it into account, and you carry yourself accordingly. You want to self-improve? Stop looking for a shortcut and go find your alarm clock. And find your discipline and find your guts and your passion and your drive and find your will. And then you will find your freedom. What contribution that I want to begin to make? What difference do I want to make in life? What is it that I want to do with the rest of the life that I have left? What, what chances I need to take? What risks do I need to begin to embrace? What fears do I need to step on? What areas of my life am I dead right now? What dream? That's, see, that's when people go out and, and strike out on their dreams. That's when people get out of relationships where they're dying together rather than growing together. Beginning to know that your dreams, your passions, your drive to achieve whatever it is you want, as it has more power and meaning, it will move you past your fears. As you begin to feel that you deserve it, your passion and goal is so strong that fears won't matter. As you begin to trust yourself and put yourself in the situation where you have to make it happen, you will make it. I know this from my own life experience. I know that you've got greatness within you. I know that you have unlimited potential in you. I know that you have something to give to the universe that was not here before you showed up. Somebody said that life is God's gift to us and how we live our lives is our gift to God. What kind of gift are you giving? And what kind of gift could you give if fear wasn't an issue? You can have fears. Don't surrender. Don't let your fears have you. You're more than capable of making this your decade.